Hey, Daily Dosers, my name is Tracy, and I'm one of the campus pastors at the Carlsbad campus, and I'm here to bring you the Daily Dose. We're still in 1 Peter chapter 1, and I'm going to start at verse 13. Therefore, and I'm going to stop right there for a second, and therefore, because of what you've already heard, because of this Jesus, because of this grace and peace and this inheritance, because of that, this is what we want to be mindful of. With minds that are alert and fully sober, set your hope on the grace to be brought to you when Jesus Christ is revealed at his coming. As obedient children, do not conform to the evil desires you had when you lived in ignorance, but just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, be holy because I am holy. I think the first thing we have to talk about is really what does holy mean? And it just means set apart from what is common. And much like Chris said, this is a day and age that's kind of tough to be a Christian or a Christ follower, much like it was in these times as well. And it says, be holy or set apart in all that you do. And that's in your mind and in your heart and even in your lifestyle, be holy. And, you know, I think that means it takes discipline and it doesn't really matter what it is that you're going for. If you are going to be disciplined in your exercise or your food or something that you um, just as a rub against what your body or your flesh really wants to do, it's discipline. And it's the same idea. In my mind, it starts there. And then if I can just convince myself to take that first step, then it'll be, a, the next time it'll feel better. And then it'll feel really great. And I'll kind of get this steam rolling of doing it and feeling good about it. And then I have this lifestyle or this character change. It's no different than that. It takes a lot of discipline and kind of rubbing against what I really want to do, but to be set apart from what is common. And that's what God is calling us to do and what Peter is talking about. And we can't do that on our own. I, we, we need the Holy Spirit and he lives in us. If you're a Christ follower, the Holy Spirit's with you. And it says that same power that raised Jesus from the dead lives with inside of us. And it really can push against any one of those things that our body is saying, oh, I don't really want the change. I don't really want to do it. So whether it's your mind, whether it's in your heart, or whether it's in your lifestyle, what is it today that God is calling you to be holy, much like he is holy? And I just wanna encourage you to step out, make, make a determination today that I'm gonna take that first step, and then the next step, I guarantee you, it's gonna feel better, you're gonna know you're being an obedient child, and you're being holy just like he is. Have a great day.